So there's three levels of financial ability that you have to go through in order to reach financial abundance. The mistake that most people make is aiming for financial abundance before they have the previous two. So the first level is financial stability. Financial stability basically means that you have enough money to pay the bills, <laughs> to have food, have water, shelter, all the basic necessities. For me, for example, this also consists of the gym. If I can't go to the gym, I don't feel, it means I don't have enough money to feel financially sound. So whatever your definition of uh, financial stability is, it just means enough money so that you don't feel in danger. You know, you can basically all the basic needs are met. This is not about growth. This is about just having enough to, to make it basically to, to, you know, if you bar all the, you know, courses, seminars, you know, various um, pleasures, restaurants, just having enough and knowing you're going to get by, you're going to have food, water, shelter and everything. Uh, most people, uh, they live at home with their parents. They don't, they're trying to jump to affluence, to financial prosperity, but they're not even at the first level yet. They don't even have enough income to actually cover the basic uh, expenses. So they just trying to make that jump is not going to work. Now the next level is financial um, comfort. It's basically being able to afford the n nice things in life. You know, uh, uh, for some people, again, it might be the gym. Uh, it might be going to restaurants once in a while, going to the movies, uh, maybe taking a few courses. Basically, it means that you have what you need and you also have some basic luxuries uh, available for you. Once you get to that point and you're stable there, you can actually go to affluence. You can go to financial prosperity and actually aim for the big stuff. So there's two mistakes that people make when they're dealing with these levels. First of all, let's say you're in a financially unstable position, like you're renting your, your apartment for, it's for let's say, 1500 a month, maybe 10, or maybe 1000 a month, um, plus you know, $500 in expenses, food and stuff. So you're right off the bat, you have a $1,500 expense, uh, maybe more if you have any sort of loans or a car. And let's say you're trying to go for something big. So you're trying to, you know, make it on Amazon and write books or, you know, whatever. You're trying to get to affluence, but you don't have a steady stream of income that guarantees the basic uh, necessities, which you have, obviously, and also the comfort level, which you're going for. So you have to make a decision either to limit yourself, like literally maybe go to um, sleep at your parents' house, you know, go live there, and basically you're going to have zero expenses, and that way you're going to be at financial stability. So you're not going to have to worry about the food coming in, you know, having some place to, to sleep and stuff like that, the, the basic necessities. You can't live in uh, comfort or expect comfort uh, while not even having the basic necessities handled beyond a doubt while also going for affluence uh, you can't make these jumps so you have to understand where you're at and where you're at means your income level versus your expenses your lifestyle and you have to choose which one you're going to sacrifice either massively increase the income uh, maybe work twice as much in your job maybe work twice as hard in your marketing but make sure you raise your income and that way you basically get the bottom two levels of stability and comfort handled so that you can focus on abundance and affluence or lower the expenses and again move to a maybe instead of renting for 1500 rent for 500 uh, maybe instead of you know eating out at restaurants you know eat mostly at the, from the grocery store because if you stay if you keep acting like you're in financial comfort while you're actually in financial stability and not even that, uh, you're not going to get both. You're not going to get the stability and you're not going to get the comfort because you live like you have comfort, but you don't even have stability. So you have anxiety and you don't enjoy what you have. So again, raise the income levels, 
and if needed, lower the expense levels. Think, look at what's important for you. Because if you have a very minimalistic taste, you could literally live at your parents' home, uh, you know, maybe earn $300 a month just to have money for the gym. And for you, that's uh, both financial stability and financial comfort because you enjoy the lifestyle, you get the nice things you want, and you can go for uh, the big stuff, you know, prosperity. You can't do both. <laughs> so make a choice. If you go for prosperity, first of all, create um, a basic level of stability and comfort, either by raising income or by lowering your level of lifestyle. Both of them will make you happier. The lower level of lifestyle might sound bad. Oh, you know, downgrading the apartment. But you're not going to have anxiety anymore. And you're not going to think, oh, when I'm, how am I going to pay the bills? Blah, 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 blah. And you actually be able to uh, accumulate some money and actually ensure a level of, of um, basic, being well off and also having the comfort. And that will allow you to go for the higher level incomes. Hope that video makes sense, hope it helps you. Let me know if you have any questions, because this might be a bit confusing. Let me know if something wasn't clear, and uh, feel free to contact me if you want me to help you.